Hi guys, this is Troy from Australian Guitar Channel. I've done a lesson today for Don't Change by In Excess. Awesome song, I love this song. This was from the Shabu Shabar album, released in 1982, written by Andrew Farris and the rest of the band. Just a lot of power chords in this one. And uh, if you wanna get a similar sort of tone on this, you're gonna need to crank up the distortion. You're probably gonna need to get yourself a distortion pedal. It sounds like the original bands used Marshalls on this one and uh, Stratocaster guitars, I can say that much, from Kirk Pengilly and uh, Tim Farris. Also, I wanted to say thank you for everyone's support of last week's Brett Gar said Two Strong Hearts guitar lesson. That's done really well. A lot of people seem to be enjoying that. And I'm getting all your requests for songs by Choir Boys, uh, The Church, um, a lot more obscure bands that I've never even heard of. So uh, I'm slowly getting around to, to all of these but my subscriber base is growing nice and quickly, gone from about three or four a day to about six or seven a day, okay? So thanks everyone for sharing and supporting my channel. All right, so anyway, here it is. Don't Change by In Excess. See ya. All right, Don't Change. So the first thing you wanna do, the first guitar part that comes in is this. Seventh fret on the D string. It's, uh, you can either do that. What it sounds like is a much quicker uh, semi-quaver phrase, uh, which is kind of tremolo picking, which is like this. Where you do your hand really fast. That can be quite difficult if you haven't been playing for long. All right, so just doing down strokes might work nicely. distorted guitar comes in. Now there's two ways you can do this. I, I want to teach it like this. 7th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B string. Because underneath that you can also play the A note as a pedal. All right, Because that's what's happening in the song is the chords are going over the top. But there's an A. The bass sits on the A note the whole time. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to play it with that chord, but then also picking the A string bass at the same time. So that's the first bit. We're going to pick, play that chord on the same on the seventh fret, and we're going to play it for two bars. I'm just doing this rhythm down, down, up, up, down. Going to go down to the second fret, same shape, and slide up to the fourth. All right, here we go. And then we're going to jump up to a C sharp power chord on the uh, fourth fret, fourth and then sixth fret on the uh, D and the G strings. And we're going to go fourth fret right up to the seventh. Okay. Now, if you want to keep that A pedal going, you can take that finger off and just do this. Just two fingers, third and pinky finger on the sixth, sliding up to the ninth fret. Or, as I said before, and then the last bits, power chord shape, bar chord shape, sorry power chord on the second up to the fourth fret. Or to get that pedal going, take that first finger off and just play those three strings, the A, D and the G, second to fourth. All right, I'm gonna do that whole thing again. song that's going on with electric guitar but I'll just teach you the chords anyway so it's a A down F sharp minor in 
between, I'm putting an E chord, which is this shape here. Alright, 6th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B string with the, uh, uh, what am I, 2nd finger there. So I'm going A, 1, 2, 3, 4, to F sharp minor. Underneath that, a nice sustained electric guitar. You probably know what I'm talking about when you hear it in a second. That just goes like this. All right, so the two notes he's doing there, G string, ninth to 11th frets. You hear that? And then go down to the B string, 12th to 14th frets. All right. And that's underneath the F sharp minor. All right, so it's to the riff. All right, now we're going back into the verse. Uh, and it's the same verse chords again, all right? A, E over, effectively the E chord. Two bars of F sharp, B minor to D. So that's your verse and your chorus, sorry, intro, verse, chorus. Um, and uh, then there's just a breakdown, all right, with it where the synth comes in just quietly playing those that same chord progression. And then once that synth does that whole little run, then the guitar comes in playing that same intro note. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so that little uh, outro riff. 